Hello and welcome to the Little Historians Magazine TV. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Blitz, which was a part of World War II. But before I do, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. Our latest edition is all about World War II and one of the most significant parts of this era of history is something we call the Blitz. Now it's a really horrible thing to have to tell you about but it's important that we do share the story so we can remember those we lost during World War II. The word we call it, the Blitz, comes from the German word Blitzkrieg which means lightning war and it began at about four o'clock in the afternoon on the 7th of September 1940 when German bomber planes started appearing over London. From then on, over 57 nights until November the 2nd, over 1 million bombs were dropped on London, causing huge tragedy and destroying one third of the whole city. It's a really horrible and brutal attack that devastated London, leaving buildings destroyed and people without homes. Luckily, evacuation had started in 1939, so some children had already left London to be safe in the country but huge amounts were still surrounded by the destruction. The German bomber attack started during the day, but to make Londoners even more scared, Hitler told them to start bombing at night too. But because it was dark, the German air force then sometimes missed their targets, so you could be very unsafe in the countryside too. To make it more dark, and so making the German aim more difficult, people would black out their homes using paint, cardboard or cloth to block up their windows and they would turn all their lights off so that their homes would not be seen from the sky. Just imagine how dark it must have been. You wouldn't have been able to see anything. And then all you'd hear is the planes flying overhead. It must have been horrid. Not only were house lights off, but so were street lights, or they were shielded on the top to make the light point directly downwards. The same thing was done with traffic lights and car lights. But sadly, because it was so dark, there was lots of traffic accidents. So in trying to help the problem of bombs, the blackout caused more issues elsewhere. Not just London was attacked though, other big industrial cities were targets too, like Liverpool and Birmingham. For some background for you, before this was the Battle of Britain. So Hitler wanted to take over Britain, first by destroying the army in the air, or the RAF and then by invading by sea. Because if we were destroyed in the air, our air force couldn't help stop invading ships. The German and British air forces were fighting over the sky from July to September of 1940. And by the 7th of September, the Germans thought they had done enough damage to the RAF and started bombing London, which is what we call the Blitz. But because they started bombing London, they stopped fighting the air force, which meant our RAF had time to regroup, collect more defences and make better plans. And they were already extremely organised, which is why they fought so well. The RAF defeated the German version, the Luftwaffe, in a huge air battle on the 15th of September. Now I've told you that story because it means that the German forces didn't win the British airspace. We could still control our skies, which meant we could detect German planes when they were flying over to bomb the country. When German planes were detected in the sky, an air raid siren would go off. This was very loud and probably very scary for the people living nearby, but it meant you could quickly try to run to safety by getting into your air raid shelter. There were also instructions sent out on what to do when you heard the air raid siren. When you hear the warning, take cover at once. Remember that most of the injuries in an air raid are caused not by direct hits by bombs, but by flying fragments and debris, or by bits of shells. Stay under cover until you hear the sirens sounding continuously for two minutes on the same note, which is the signal of safety. And that's from Raiders Past, an air raid warning from 1939. So that's explaining to people how the air raid siren worked. When you hear two different notes, that means get to safety. But when you hear one continuous for two minutes, that means it's okay to come out and the Germans have hopefully gone. One thing that made the Blitz even more scary was that some bombs didn't explode as soon as they hit the ground. Sometimes it would be faulty and not go off at all, whereas other times you might feel safe and suddenly an unexploded bomb explodes. At one point during the Blitz, over 177,000 Londoners, that's a very big number, slept in the underground tube station for safety. It was quite common for people to sleep here as they would be protected from the bombs and the other damage they caused. 
Other people had Anderson shelters in their gardens, Morrison shelters in their homes, or they had to go to a public air raid shelter. So Anderson shelters were made from steel, half buried in the ground with earth heaped on top of them, and they would be in people's gardens, which would help to protect people from the bomb blasts. These shelters were given out for free to people who earned less than five pounds a week, because they cost seven pounds, which is equivalent to over 500 pounds today. And by September of 1939, one and a half million Anderson shelters had been put up in gardens. Morrison shelters were built for people without gardens in 1941, but this time it would go underneath your table, so it would probably be about six foot. If high explosive bombs were used, air raid shelters on the ground weren't hugely helpful, and so the government realised we needed underground shelter. Caves were used in some parts of the country, but in London, like we said, loads of people went into the underground train platforms. I suppose I'd rather stay in the underground station all night rather than sleeping at home, being woken up by the air raid siren and then having to run outside through my garden to my shelter. What do you think? Thank you so much for watching, I do hope you've learnt something new. If you did, why not give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to know more, you can watch our other videos or get your grown up to go to our website and buy a subscription to the magazine. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.